Hey, how you doing? I'm Ant Satch. Today, I want to talk about a very important topic. It is about who the Father is. Who is God the Father? A lot of Trinitarians get this mixed up. Today, in my Bible study, I'm going to study the Bible and read some scriptures, and I want you to follow along with me. We're going to learn who God the Father is. Who is the Father of Jesus Christ, of the Son of Man? And then we're going to learn who the Son is. We're going to find out today in this lesson. Stay tuned. We're going to start in Exodus. We're going to get some Old Testament context. And we're going to combine it with the New Testament to make it harmonize. So, Deuteronomy. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 19. We're going to, we're going to start and pay close attention. Verses 9 through 11, and we're going to skip up to verse 16 through 20. Now, let's start. And it says, And Yahweh, Lord in all caps is Yahweh. So I'm going to be saying Yahweh. Yahweh said to Moses, Lo, now pay attention. Lo, I come unto you. In a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto Yahweh. And Yahweh said to Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. For the third day, Yahweh will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Okay. So Yahweh is getting ready to come down to speak to all the people upon Mount Sinai. Now let's skip up. Verses 16 through verse 20. And it says, and it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. This is the camp in the wilderness when Moses brought the people out of Egypt. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the nether part of the mount, or at the bottom of the mountain. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke, because Yahweh descended upon it in fire. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked, it quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. He heard a voice. And Yahweh came down upon Mount Sinai on top of the mount, and Yahweh called Moses up to the mount, to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. Okay? So we know a thick cloud covered the mountain and Moses and, and Yahweh spoke with Moses. Okay. He came down him to him in a dark cloud. Like he said he would do now Exodus chapter 20 verses 18 through verse 21. Pay attention. Exodus chapter 20 verse 18 through 21. We're going to find out who this person is. who's coming down on Mount Sinai in this cloud. And all the people saw the thundering and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, they said unto Moses, speak thou with us and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, fear not, for God is come to prove you. That he that his fear may be before your faces, 
that you that that you may not sin, that you sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick dark cloud where God was. So God is in this cloud. Okay. He came down upon Mount Sinai. He's in this cloud. And these people are scared. They're terrified. He came down in fire. Now let's go over to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18. We're going to read verses 15 through 18. Now pay attention. Pay attention. Because it's going to it's going to talk about what just happened on Mount Sinai when God, when, when these people seen the cloud and heard God's voice and they said, don't let God speak to us lest we die. Okay? Verse 15. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 18. Verses 15 through verse 18. And it says, Yahweh, alright, verse 15. It says, Yahweh thy God will raise up a prophet unto thee from the midst of thy brethren's like unto me, unto him you you shall hearken. Now, this is Moses talking. He's telling them, Yahweh your God will raise up a prophet unto you, like unto me, like Moses, okay? Out of the midst of your brethren, out of the midst of the Israelite, like their brethren. And unto me, unto him, that prophet, you shall listen, okay? Verse 16, according to all that thou desired, of Yahweh thy God in, in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let not hear, let me not hear the voice of Yahweh my God, lest or see this great fire anymore, lest I die. Okay. So Yahweh said he's gonna raise up a prophet. Why? Because they said when they seen him come down on Mount Sinai, they seen the fire, the smoke, and heard his voice. They said, we don't want to see this anymore or hear this great voice unless we're going to die. Okay. Now, let's, let us go to Acts. Acts chapter 3, verses 21, I mean, 22 through verse 26. And it's gonna, we're going to find out who this person is who came down on Mount Sinai in, 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 in fire and in smoke. And they didn't want to hear his voice. And he said he was going to raise up a prophet like Moses. We're going to find out who this person is. And that's when we find out who the father is. Okay. Acts chapter 3 verse 22 through 26. And it says. For Moses truly said unto thy ancestors. A prophet shall Yahweh your God raise up unto me. of Like your bro uh, from your brethren. Okay. Like unto me. Him you shall hear. In all things whatever he shall say unto you. Okay. So in Deuteronomy 18, uh, verse 15 through 18, God told Moses he would raise up a prophet. Okay. Like Moses. And he would put his words in that prophet's mouth. And that prophet shall speak in his name. That's what it says. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 19. Okay. Now, Yahweh, who told Moses that it's the same one who came down on Mount Sinai in the cloud and spoke to Moses because the people didn't want to hear his voice or see his great fire. OK. Now, he said, a prophet shall, shall Yahweh your God raise up unto me. I mean, like me unto you and you should do whatever that prophet say. And it shall come to pass that whoever, whatever soul which would not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. Yet are ye the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with your ancestors, saying, Abraham unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Verse 26, unto you first, God, having raised up his son, Jesus, sent him to bless you and turn it away every one of you from your iniquities. Now, wait a minute now. If the person who came down on Mount Sinai in the cloud raised up a prophet like Moses and the prophet is his son, Jesus, then that must make the one who came down on Mount Sinai 
in the pillar of cloud, in the, in the cloud, the father. That must make him the father. Okay? Because he raised up his son, Jesus. Okay? That must, that must make he the, him the father. That must, that must mean it was the father who came down on Mount Sinai. Okay? Because he raised up his son, Jesus. Now, let us go to Nehemiah chapter 9. And we're going to we're going to go to Nehemiah 9. Okay? And we're going to get some context. We're going to find out who came down on Mount Sinai. We're going to learn a little bit more. Nehemiah chapter 9 verses 7 through verse 15. Okay. And this and you, hold on, let's go back. It say, Thou, O Yahweh, the God who did choose Abraham, and thou did for brought him out of the land of Ur the Chaldeans, and gave him the name Abraham. You choose Abram and gave him the name Abraham. And you found his heart faithful before thee, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and the Gershites, to give it, I say, to his seed, and has performed thy word, for thou art righteous, and did see the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heard their cry by the Red Sea, and thou showest signs and wonders upon Pharaoh, and on all his servants, and on all the people of his land, for thou knowest that they have dealt proudly against them, so didst thou get, their, get thyself a name, you made yourself a name to this day. Verse 11, And thou didst divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And their persecutors went through in, into the deeps. You threw into the deep like a mighty stone into the water. Moreover, thou hast led them by a cloudy pillar in the, in the night and by a pillar of fire by the day to give them uh, you have led them by a cloudy pillar during the day and by a pillar of fire at night to give them light so they can see verse 13 and thou came down upon Mount Sinai okay and spake with them from heaven and gave them right judgments and true laws good statutes and commandments and made known unto them thy holy Sabbath and commandments, commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses thy servant, okay? And gave them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought water from a rock when they were thirsty. And you promised them that they should go into and possess the land which thou had sworn to give them, okay? So now we know that the one who led them out of Egypt in a pillar of cloud it's the same one who came down on Mount Sinai okay and gave them the law now okay that was the same that one who came down on Mount Sinai and gave them the law now let's do something right quick let's go to Deuteronomy okay back to Deuteronomy we're gonna find out more about this God who is in this cloud this person who is in this cloud Deuteronomy chapter 31 we're gonna start at verse 16 Okay, Deuteronomy 31, or oh, starting at verse 14, and it says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Behold, thy days approach that thou must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tabernacle of congregation, that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And Yahweh appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy ancestors, and this people will rise up and go a whoring, prostitute themselves after the gods of the strangers of the land, whether they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them, then my anger shall be kindled. Okay? My anger shall be kindled against them in that day. And I will forsake them, and I will pay attention. And I will hide my face from them, 
and they shall be devoured, and many evil, many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us because God because of our God he is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought in that day, in that they are turned in, unto other gods. Now, therefore, write ye this song for you and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. Okay, so God is saying the same God who came down in the pillar of cloud came down to the tent of congregation of meeting, speak to Moses, and he said his people is going to rebel against him and worship other gods, and he will hide his face from them. Okay, now let's do the Romans 32, the very next chapter. This is a song God told Moses to write down. Do the Romans 32, and we're going to start at verse 16. Verse 16. And it says, okay, verse 16 says, Deuteronomy 32, verse 16, and it says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Behold, hold on, Deuteronomy 32, verse 16, all right, they provoked him to jealousy. With strange gods, with abominations, provoke him by, provoke him to anger. Okay. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to, uh, new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers, your ancestors feared not. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art, thou art unmindful. And has forgotten God who formed thee. And when Yahweh saw it, he abhorred them. He abhorred, he hated them. He he was he was angry at them because of the provoking of his sons and his daughters. So he must be their father. And he said, I will hide my face from them, and I will see what their end will be. They are forward, a very forward. Generation, children in whom is no faith. Okay. So he said he will hide his face from them. Now we're going to read Isaiah. Read Isaiah chapter 64, verses 7 through 8. 